Well, good day there, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Chop Lines and Inlines. It's a beautiful fall day here today up at camp, and uh, I have something to share with you there today I'm pretty excited about. I'm putting on the quad here now. Um, this is my Yamaha 450, and uh, in this video, what we're going to be talking about here, guys, is uh, the best way to carry a rifle on a quad um, if, through what I've found in my experiences. Now, the way I do things, you know, being in the bush all the time and having to be very careful about bears and wolves and whatever else, you know, I always got to, I always got to have a rifle and it's the, it's the old saying, you know, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And as soon as you let your guard down and not have it, well, you need it pretty quick. Just seems like how it always goes, guys. Now, obviously, I need a good way to carry that on my quad and I've tried a few different things in doing so. Uh, because you know that you want it you want it convenient and you want to be able to carry it around in a good way You don't want it hard on your rifle nothing like that now There's obviously a few ways you can do that one is just you know carrying over your shoulder But you got a you got a heavy rifle like mine or you're carrying around all day every bump It starts to wear you know, and then you can also kind of just hold it on the seat too. give your shoulder rest I find that annoying going through the bush to uh, you try to duck down, catching on bushes, stuff too, in this kind of ugly terrain. Now, obviously, the most popular way of doing this, and what everyone seems to have, is one of these coal pin gun boots. And I think a lot of people were surprised when I said I don't like them very much at all. Well, the reason I don't like them, guys, is that just the number one reason is is the fact that the the boot itself is fixed and the rifle isn't. So every bump, every whatever, it's rattling up and down and it's hard on things as far as I'm concerned. Now I get it uh, for someone who's not, who's just driving maybe nice smooth trails or something like that. But in this country, it just, it's just terrible. Uh, the, I have one of these on my skidoo and on my quad. And the reason for that is uh, I carry my trapping dispatch rifle in there in my 22 and it gets beat around as is so it's not a worry. I even cringe to put my shotgun in there because it has scars on it from riding in one of these things and it's just not a great way to do it. Other than that it's awesome you put it in there it's out of the elements you can leave it there it's out of the road but I just don't like every little bump I hit. I hear it rattling anything with a scope. It's cringeworthy. And I know some people might even argue that. So I'll show you an ironclad reason. She don't fit. And it's not only my bipod, it's also my scope. So it just, it just don't work. And it's got this padding in here, but really, all the same, it's rattling around all the time. Now, like I said, it's nice for my 22 or if you had a dirty old 30-30 or something, just a bush rifle you didn't care about, that's all fine and dandy. You're dealing with a nice or you know, high power rifle. It just, uh, I cringe seeing them in there, I do. So, let me show you something. Let me show you what I found to have worked the best. And this is because I had these exact same things on this, on this quad, and it was uh, a couple years ago. I actually broke one, totally my fault on a tree. But these are these coal pin. They are ratcheting grips, and you can see. Oh, I love these things! I can't wait. And the uses for them are so much more than just carry a rifle, and I think they're far superior to the fixed ones that just have um, a basic opening to them and don't close any. These are awesome. I'm fired up here just looking at them. So I thought I'd bring you along guys, if you don't mind, and we'll set them up here quick because they're simple to set up. I'll show you why I think they're the best way and I hope there's value there for you. This is also a great way to carry a bow. It's a great way to carry an ax. It's a great way to carry a shovel anything like that a bow in particular oh did my bow ever fit i'm just remembering seeing that on the picture how well that worked the 
Here's our bracket. And our screws and locking nuts. Instructions if you want it. Honestly, like it's rare for me to get as fired up about a product as I am fired up about this thing. The reality of it is this is just a damn good, it's a damn good product. There's so many little things about it. Okay, see, they, we have some rubber things. What they're for is protect the bars. Now, I don't really care, but they're there, so we're gonna use them anyway. You can see mine are already scuffed up, you know, you use it for work. You haul the things around, it's almost inevitable. And uh, I just want to get them lined up so they're straight here, but we're not quite there yet. Same thing with these pads, we'll have to move them around in a second, likely. So, how this goes, as you can see, you can either, it's got this, you can either go this way, or you can go this way. But there's even more to that, I've just forgetting about uh, till now. So, I'll show you in a second. Now these guys, they send you two different kinds of screws, two different lengths. One is too long for this application, so we're gonna use the shorter ones here. And lock nuts, which is good because if you tighten it right down on these bars, they just bend. And then when they bend, they loosen up. And then if it's not a locking nut, it'll, it'll back right off pretty easy. So now we'll just get get all these started I guess okay so that's it you know just getting them like I tried to get them straight so they're the same distance either side and then it's just a matter of tightening them and now what's really the treat here especially with his lock nuts is a ratchet wrench underneath and then I tighten them right down but it don't make any sense to over tighten on these bars because if you do, you just bend them in. So here we are, quick and easy, done. Now, this is, I like this. There's this clip here, you pull it out, okay. You know, you can move this 360 degrees. So say, it doesn't really work in this instance because it'll bugger the steering, but say you had to haul something this way, well then, like something long. Well, there you go. Twist it over this way, whatever. The whole 360. The reason I bought this is, of course, to haul my rifle. Now, the one thing I noticed the first time I set this up is there is some play in here. It's been so long, I nearly forget how I used to do this, but the thing is, just like this, I think that's how I just got to think here, touch. Maybe so. Just like this, for example. Now it's held there, and it's totally fixed. In that little bit of play, it kind of acts as a little bit of suspension. It doesn't matter. No, it's just being fixed to the thing. It's not rattling around and driving me crazy. And uh, I've carried it, it cinches down tight, so it's not rattling here, it's tight here. The scope is completely out of the way. I've carried it this way, like hundreds and hundreds of kilometers at least. Not a scratch on it from this. This is really a good material here, it's good and spongy. And it don't damage anything. Now to pop it out, you press the button, you're good to go. And it's not only a rifle you can carry with this thing, you can also, what really fit nice in there was my bow. I remember that. I don't have it here, but you know, you can carry anything in this, you know, and tight. Okay, I'm real curious how this is gonna look in here. I'm not sure about it. We can, Get this clamped in here as well. I mean, not terrible there. Truth is, that's not it's not quite ideal. This is still better to have on here. It's still worthwhile having that on here. My chainsaw carrier just doesn't quite grab here properly. 
Okay, so that's that guys about about right like that and really the reason I love it is because it's fixed You know, it's solid here uh, the, This is cinched down so tight. It's a kind of a spongy it gives and I've carried this like this is one of the few times in these reviews It's not something that's new to me. I've carried this at least a couple hundred kilometers no scar on the stock nothing no rubbing nothing now that's just kind of the beauty the beauty of it you're flying down for me flying down bumpy old road it's not rattling to all hell back there it's thick now there is the obvious downside here is now is it's exposed so if it's raining it's not so good in the winter it's not a problem but it's not good to have out in the rain obviously I thought maybe I could get some kind of a cover in that instance for it and keep in the quad box or something maybe that's just the thought but that's definitely the downside to it one thing here you can see just with where this sits nice mainly with this this here um, it doesn't clap as good once we get over here um, I'm a touch shy of flush over here and a touch over here so maybe it's not a bad idea to play around with the clamps over here the only thing is they're not quite straight, you know, just to get it more center. But if you're a touch longer, you do have to be obviously a touch careful. And this is how I broke the last one was hitting a tree here and breaking this piece here. But uh, the reason why I like it here, guys, is because it's half the price of one of these. You can carry more with it like I was showing you. And uh, it really works good carry a bow. I wish I brought my bow uh, to show you. If that thing wasn't in the way and uh, it does it without scarring it up or anything it holds it there snug it's fixed to the quad it's not rattling around there's nothing for it to bump against the scope is clear out of the way you know it's just it's just safe there and it is more exposed but anything you're driving over like bushes and stuff they go under they you don't you're not really hitting anything here at all so that's why I like it the big thing is it's not rattling around like one of these things and you're either scuffing it up like I scuffed up my shotgun in, what, in that thing. And you're also not worried about bumping scope or anything. And like I said, she doesn't even fit in there. So the, in my honest opinion, that's why I think it is the best uh, way to carry it. Out of all the options I know of, it might not be for everyone. Like I said, if you're just roaming around on nice smooth roads, well, throw it in there all means. But... I can't imagine driving on roads smooth enough with a quad that I can justify putting something that nice in there. It just doesn't make sense. Every time, uh, I just, it just, it just makes me cringe the thought of it. So that's just been my experience and my opinion here today on this. It's just staying there. There's nothing for it to, it's not going to harm itself. It's totally fixed. It's not rattling around here and causing damage. Nothing. I think it's about the safest way you can do it, really. You know, there is no f uh, perfect method as far as I'm concerned, but this one I found to be the best, so I thought I'd share it with you because I don't see these near as often as I see things like this, and this thing just makes me crazy. So anyway, guys, uh, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Hope it was some use for you. Uh, it's definitely worth trying out for, I think I paid... I think these are just shy of 70 Canadian, so just a touch over 50 USD. I'll put that in the correct total here right in the text, and I'll probably put it earlier. And so they're they're worth a shot, and for a variety of different reasons. So I thought I'd bring them to your attention. All the best, guys. Hope everyone's doing just great.